Hello everyone, Pigeon here. Now today I'm opening both of the Pokemon Center Paradox Rift ETBs. We're opening up the Watermelon Slices and the Rhubarb and Custard. So let's hopefully get some special illustration rares. So we're going to start off with the Iron Valiant ETB. Now these are the dividers. They very follow the green and pink theme that we're going to have throughout this uh, ETB. The status counters and dice are going to be the same in both ETBs. There's no difference there. And they both come with an energy brick. We also have two of the Iron Bundle promos. This obviously little bird is just enjoying doing some skiing. And this one is obviously marked with the Pokemon Center stamp, which is the reason why everyone gets these ETBs. Uh, these have caused quite a storm with um, local stores because people just aren't buying normal ETBs from local goods stores. They're just buying the Pokemon Center ones for the two promos and the extra packs for the same price. It's just a no brainer really. So Pokemon Center might need to change this going forward because otherwise I can see local stores just not wanting to stock ETBs in the future. And then we have the Iron Valiant sleeves. Same as always, frosted. I really hate these frosted sleeves. And here is the first code card for the video. If you're reading any of the code cards throughout the video, let me know what you get in your packs in the comments down below. And then per ETB, we get 11 packs of Paradox Rift. So we're gonna have 22 packs in total, but let's crack on with the first pack and fly through this. Hopefully we can get some special illustration rares because they are what we want from Paradox Rift. There's a lot of them to get. So hopefully we can get some to fill that gap in the binder. Snow Runt, Knuckle Stack, Plusle, Dotsla, Toad's Cruel, Screen Tail, Devolution, oh, Reverse Hollow, Iron Moth, Explode, and we start off with Armor Rouge EX. Okay, not too bad. First pack Magic of Iron Valiant is a go, but who will win out of these two ETBs? I'm going to go for Roaring Moon because I love Roaring Moon. The design of it is so cool. It's just a really awesome one, and the shiny is fantastic as well. But Trubbish, Gimme Ghoul, the Suspect Wiglet, Jirachi, Zeb Striker, Luxurious Cape, Ambipom, Tadamouse, Flittle, and Ting Lu. Nothing in the second pack. Speaking of Roaring Moon, he's on the front of this next artwork. What is everyone's chase cards for the set? For me, it's got to be the Iron Valiant and the Roaring Moon. They are just stunning cards. Although, I really do want the Yukimori Apom cards because that is just so cute. That is such a cute card and it's really nicely designed. But Toxel in this pack, Lipard, Wimpod, Elikid, Explode, Mela, Sliverwing, Flamigo, Tandemouse, and Golisopod. Still hunting that elusive illustration rare. Pack number four. And here is the fourth code. Lots of codes to be given out in this pack in this opening with 22 uh, packs. There's going to be 22 codes and, of course, the two codes for the ETBs as well. Porygon 2, Octillery, Snorlax Style, Tinkertung, Tatsugiri, Galvantula. Speaking of Galissapod's special illustration rare, we've got we've just pulled it. That is fantastic and Milotic. But let's have another look at that Galissapod in that shipwreck. That is a really nice pull. Okay, there we go. There's the special illustration rare. But can we get some more? There's still quite a lot of packs in the Iron Valiant. And Roaring Moon is still yet to be opened. So, there's a lot to get through. Water Energy, Bird Gang Natu, Purloin, Mind Fu, Feral Seed, Chantal, 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 Goboda, Energy Capsule, or Beetle, Hey, <laughs> Ferrothorn, and Chi Yu. Two illustration rares in a row. For off one walking down some stairs. I hate floating stairs, just a side fact. Five packs left in the Iron Valiant booster in the ETB box. So we've done very well so far. Oh, actually, I've left one on top of there. So there's six packs left, rather. But yeah, there's the next code. So this is going to take us just about to halfway in the ETB. So that's not too bad. We've done very well so far. Hopefully this luck can continue. Uh, Don Dozo, Veluza, Blindside, Dewblade, Chain Pow, and Zacian Hollow. I do love that Zacian. I'm kind of sad there's no Zamazenta though. Being a shield uh, player, this, that makes me a bit sad. All right, here's the pack that I actually left on the ETB box. So if this has nothing in it, uh, it will not be too much of a loss to the video. But hopefully it has another illustration rare. We've got two from, what, five so far? So that is really good. If we can keep that rate up, we'll be in for a treat. But my pack luck is never that good. There we go, Mantike, and then another Milotic. Almost done with the Iron Valiant ETB. 
there is the next code. We've got three more packs after this one for the Iron Valiant, and then we can take a look at the Roaring Moon. I'm excited to see these Roaring Moon packs because we've had a good opening so far. Toad Scroll, Charcadet, and Grudon. Nothing, though. No, we've run into a little bit of a dry spell, but it'll be interesting to see what ETB ends up the winner. I'm still going to, I'm going to still hate for Roaring Moon, but so far, Iron Valiant's done very well flying through these packs. Can I pack that Yukimori Apon card? Because that is just so cute. Venalux, Aegislash, Parasol Lady, <laughs> and we get Cynthia's Ace, Garchomp EX. That is a very nice card. These Terra EX cards are growing on me, I must say. Right, penultimate pack for Iron Valiant. Ooh, can there is the penultimate code for Iron Valiant. There's still going to be a lot more codes to come, so don't worry about that. But, basic energy. Phoebus, Apom, Galvantula, Mantike, Cursed Duster, Orbital, Cloth, Flamigo, Mineshow, and Kingdra. It's down to the last pack to improve Iron Valiant's lead. Because I think it's going to be a very tough ETB opening to get. To beat. Words. I'm just making an absolute mess behind me as well. Off camera, there's a massive mess. But, Water Energy, Wismer, Dewblade, Surskit, Magby, Defiance Vest, Durant, Turbo Energized, Dwebble, Toad's Cool, and Porygon Z. So that is the end of the Iron Valiant. Let's just take a look at the pulls from Iron Valiant. So not including the promos, we've got four hits. We've got the Garchomp BX, the Armour GX, the Ferrothorn, and the Galissapod. So it's a good score. That's not a bad ETB, but can Roaring Moon beat it? Let's find out. For anyone wondering, the ETB box is the same, because here is the one from my ETB that I opened yesterday. The box is exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about that. We have our 11 packs, but we're going to put to one side for now. Here is the ETB code. Here is what the dividers look like. Here are the Roaring Moon sleeves. And here is the adorable Screamtail promo. Just absolutely screaming at the top of his lungs. Or her lungs. Are they gendered? I don't even know. But it's a very nice promo. And I like how both promos are quite similar in look. But we've got to try and beat the Iron Valiant's score. So let's crack on with these 11 packs. Show you some more codes. And hopefully get some more fire pulls. Water Energy, Blitz, what is my computer doing? My computer's just doing some weird stuff. Bon Sweet, Phoebus, Apom, Crobat, Rourke, Minior, Mindfu, Toad's Cool, and Yelvatal Hollow. I actually need Yelvatal, so that's not too bad. Right, second pack, Armourouge on the artwork. We've got Armourouge EX in this opening. Can we get a few more EXs and a few more special illustration rares? Or just illustration rares in general, because there's a lot of them for Paradox Rift. Metal Energy, Mindfu, Ferrocid, Gibble, Pampor, Chantel, Garbodar, TM, Toad's Crawl, Crustle, and Aegis Slash EX. So there's another EX to add to the list. That's not too bad. And that is the first hit for the Roaring Moon ETB. Scar Jump on the artwork now. This is going to obviously be a longer. Um, this is obviously going to be a longer video because there's obviously so many packs to open. 22 packs is probably a lot of packs that I've opened. I think it might actually be the video where I've opened the most packs. It might well be. Medical Energy, Iron Bundle, I love that. Aegislash. Slash. Ooh, Mela Special Illustration Rare. Okay. That is a fantastic pull. Mela actually caused me the most problems in my Scarlet and Violet playthrough. So that is a very nice Special Illustration Rare to pull there. That Torkoal is fantastic on that artwork as well. But... That's one special illustration rare piece. That is very, very close now. Blitzel, Bonsweet, Phoebus, Apon, Durant, Sliverwing, Thorofawn, Flamigo, Blitzel, and Ting Lu. So that means that Roaring Moo needs another illustration rare and a Terra EX card to level the playing field. But that's a tough ask. That's still not an easy feat to do. So hopefully... We've got a bit more good pack luck in stock. Plusle, Dotler, Toxel, Devolution, Explode, Mella, 
Toad's Cool, Chain Pal, and Zatu. Flying Bird. Right, just this after this pack is the halfway point of the Roaring Moon ETB, so we need something in this pack, otherwise Roaring Moon is going to have a bit of pressure on it to beat Iron Bundle. But Psychic Energy, Porygon, Seedra, Magby, Vanillite, Rourke, Minior, Simipore, Porygon Z, Charcadet, and Roaring Moon EX. Okay, very nice. All right, that's it. We are over halfway through this ETB now and almost coming to the end of the opening. But hopefully we've got a little bit more juice still to go. Basic Energy, Lipard, Wimpod, Elekid, Tinkertuff, Sliverwing, Gorgeist, Tatsugiri, Medical Energy, Parasol Lady, and Garganackle. Just four packs to go. Come on, Roaring Moon. I, I called you out from the start that said you were going to win. So hopefully... Hopefully you can pull through for me there. Water Energy, Oricorio, Swablu, Panseer, Gligar, Zeb Striker. Oh, I love that Crocodile artwork. Ambipom, Mind Shell, Wimpod to go with our Galistapod, and Latios. But that is the second illustration rare that we get. So that is illustration rares tied up. We just need another big hitter, and Roaring Moon, I think, will take the lead. Three packs left. Can we get another hit? And then I think Roaring Moon will win. You'll have to let me know in the comments who you think is going to win. Or who you think is winning because it's going to be quite late in the video now. But Metal Energy, Blitzel, Bon Sweet, Feebas, Apom, Explode, Minior, Dondozo, Espartha, Luxurious Cape, and Thievil. Okay. Roaring Moon has definitely won now. A gold card as well. That's fantastic. And we have two packs to go. So second to last pack. Come on. I love the fact that gold cards are in the um, illustration rare slot as well. Just adds a little bit more spice to it. Although I wish that full arts were a bit more prominent. Because full arts are still great to get. Panseer. Wiglet. Gligar. Chantal. 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 Garboda. TM. Onyx. Blitbug. And Espartha. One more pack to go. Here it is, final pack, and Iron Valiant is on the front. So how fitting would it be if Iron Pal Valiant just sealed the win for Roaring Moon? There's the final code of the video. And we have Darkness Energy, okay. Galvantula, Mantike, Pansage, Minum, Veluza, TM, Crocolore, Tinker Tink, Gligar, and another Armor Rouge EX. I think that does just seal the deal for Roaring Moon. So let's just go through Roaring Moon's pulls by themselves without the promos. Mela Special Illustration Rare, Roaring Moon EX, Wimpod Illustration Rare, Luxurious Cape Gold, Armor Rouge EX, and Aegislash EX. So yeah, I think Roaring Moon definitely won that. But that is a very successful opening in my opinion. L lots of Illustration Rares, great EXs, two fantastic Special Illustration Rares, and we can't forget about these promos as well absolutely stunning cards if you've enjoyed this video please smash that like button and subscribe for more pokemon content i've been pigeon i'll see you next time goodbye